So Robbie, congratulations! Another three points in our first home league game of the season. What do you thought? What are your thoughts after that one? Proud of each and every one of them once again. I thought um, first half we played some sensational football. The movement, um, the way we want to play with the opposites, um, the amount of times you got in, and just just the final ball once again. And you know, if we'd have been five or six up in that first half, I think it would have been right. Um, credit to Prescate Cables. I thought second half they gave it a right go. Um, you know, Steve, the manager, had them well organised, had a good game plan, and you know they'll do well this season. Um, huge respect for them. Um, you know, they were shouting for a penalty towards the end. Um, you know, I've seen them given, um, but speaking to the lads in there, they said they hit his chest. So, you know, some you get, some you don't. Um, but they give it a right go, and you know they've come here. Um, and they've attacked us and had a game plan. Um, but the way we move the ball and the way we um, found spaces um, in that first half, I've got to say, it was some scintillating football. And the most pleasing thing is the character. The block from Elliot Whitehouse, the block from Tom Clare towards the end, that's what makes us successful. Moments like that. Yes, we can play all the fantastic football, but blocks like that win your game. So I'm proud of each and every one of them. As you mentioned, there were plenty of plenty of positives to take, particularly in that first half. But in some regards, does it disappoint you that we weren't potentially clinical enough? Yeah, of course, of course. You know, we want to score goals, and um, I'm so pleased for Danny who got his first goal, a fantastic overhead kick. I think you know, could the keeper have done better? I've not seen it back yet. Um, but the way we moved that ball first half, I thought Justin, wow, what a performance! Um, you know, we've had some unbelievable wingers at this football club in, in James Berry, you know, Kane Drummond and I think JJ and Duffs, you know, are similar. You know, those two out wide in the first half, the way they found spaces and then, you know, with Trey, who I thought once again was outstanding, Kenji also, um, the way we move the ball and get in behind teams. And listen, teams are setting up against us now, they have a plan, they watch us. Um, at times they can go they go man for man. So we've got to work and train and how we you know, do things differently a little bit um, and be more clinical. I think we all know at this football club that 1-0, we need that second. That second didn't come as the game wore on set pieces. They throw everybody forward and credit to them. Listen, they're a good side. Uh, and Steve and his, his man and management team showed us huge respect. Um, you know, very humble in defeat the way they spoke. So listen, they'll do well this season, but it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic win. And another three points, two wins from two. Um, train Thursday um, you know and then go against Saturday You touched on the fact that that second goal just wouldn't come but how pleasing for you was the fact that our game management particularly in that second half was, was really top draw um, Yeah it was it was good we had to we had to adapt again we went to three centre halves um, and I've got to say it's two games in um, and standing in that technical area as a, as a, as a head coach or, or a manager with your staff it's you know you have to make big decisions and they're hard decisions um you've got to think am i doing the right one um you know but it's it's something that you know i believe in it's something i want to do um and I, i'm really enjoying it my staff are really enjoying it um but again it's it's a credit to the group that two games two clean sheets we got so much many goals in the team and we know that if you look at how many goals we recruited throughout the summer, Justin, um, double figures for Chorley, Danny Elliott, double figures for Scunthorpe, Elliott Whitehouse got nine goals. We had Runes over 20 last year, Curran's got over 20, Duff's got double figures. So, so many goals in the team. But the most pleasing thing is Dawson and Mendy at centre halves, two clean sheets. You know, I thought Dawson's passing range in that first half once again was brilliant. I thought we forced it a little bit too long. I've had a, I've had a chat with. Um, them in there second half we went long too quickly and we got a little bit complacent and as you're seeing in the first half when when it's comfortable the players keep have to doing the right thing they've got to keep doing you know the first thing you see as a footballer is usually the right thing it's when you hesitate and then think it becomes easy then you must start making mistakes the most consistent players play at the highest level because they are consistent they do the right things nine out of ten times you know and if we can do that with our energy, with our desire, um, we'll have a good season. We certainly saw the togetherness at Worksop on Saturday, um, and obviously we've seen it again today. Again today, just how important is that for you in this Huge. in this long season? Huge. We've got to stick together. As I said, the impact the subs made once again. 
Tom played with a huge block at the end. Um, Alex Curran, you know, that first little move when, when he came on as a false nine, um, because what we thought, because they were man marking our three, um, and Daniel was pinning the two centre halves back, I just thought that if we can cause them a little bit different, where we can have a bit more rotations, the box midfield, which we tried in, in pre season, you know, where Alex could drop off and cause another problem, and it worked because when he came on, you see, he got the ball to his feet, edge of the box, got the half turn, and got a shot off, and the keeper made a good save. Um, and their keeper made lots of good saves tonight. So, again, um, you've got to have plan A, B, and C. We've worked on them, um, but you know, we're going to have to have more plans to, to figure out because teams know we play, but if we play like we did first half, they can't stop it. They can't stop that movement, they can't stop that pace, they can't stop that energy. And I will keep drumming it into them every single training session. Let's keep believing in ourselves. Let's be positive. And it's two wins, two clean sheets, and a tough game against guys at the weekend. You touched on Saturday um, against guys, and you touched about the plans going forward. Um, obviously, it's a different kind of test to what we've faced so far, but just how much you're looking forward to, to a different sort of challenge? Every game's a challenge playing for this football club. Um, you know, workshop away, that was a statement, and tonight is a statement. Um, Historically, you know, when fans come to the ground, you know, when Prescott Cables, you know, who got promoted and well deserved last season, as I've said, you know, of, you know they're a very, very good side. Um, you know, subconsciously, people might think that'll be an easy three points for, for Mac, but it never is. And historically, the games we've lost at home when everybody thinks you've just got to, to win, it doesn't work like that. When you pull that shirt on, you have to have, you know, you have to be. A big character, you have to, you know, you have to, there's so much pressure on you to win games of football. And, you know, some people will go away tonight 1 0, um, you know, they're not scoring goals, but, you know, whether it's 1 0, 2 0, 5 0, 4 3, it's three points. So when people go to work tomorrow and talk about the game, it's three points. Um, we're delighted, the lads are delighted, um, and we go again Saturday. It's going to be another tough test, you know, whether we're playing the team near the bottom of the team near the top. We know what we have to do to win games of football. And to win a game for Mac, it's very difficult. Believe me. Believe me. But the lads have, have embraced everything. Um, and we're absolutely delighted with two clean sheets and, and, and two wins.